We're given vectors a and b on the coordinate plane and asked to sketch vector a plus vector b using the triangle rule. We'll do this first example by hand, and then we'll do a second example using the online graphing tool. To use the triangle rule to determine the sum of two vectors, we form a triangle using the two vectors, and then the third side gives us a resultant vector with the vector resulting from the sum of the two vectors. To form the triangle though, for vector a plus vector b, we place the initial point of vector b at the terminal point of vector a to form two sides of the triangle. Before we do this though, let's find the component form for vector a and vector b. Notice vector b has an x component of positive one and a y component of positive five, and vector a has an x component of negative four and a y component of negative two. And now again, to begin to form the triangle, to use the triangle rule, we place the initial point of vector b at the terminal point of vector a, which indicates the initial point of vector b will be negative four comma negative two. From here we move right one and then up five. This is the terminal point of vector b. We now sketch vector b. And now to form the triangle, we sketch a vector with the initial point at the origin and the terminal point at the terminal point of vector b, which is this vector here. This is the resultant vector, or the vector given by the sum of vectors a and b. Notice the component form of the resultant vector has an x component of negative three and a y component of positive three. Let's go ahead and record this. Before we go to the online graphing tool though, let's also determine the sum of the two vectors by summing the x and y components of the two vectors. So we can also determine vector a plus vector b by adding the x and y components of the two vectors, where vector a has an x component of negative four, a y component of negative two, and vector b has an x component of positive one and a y component of positive five. Adding the x components, we have negative four plus one. Adding the y components, we have negative two plus five. Simplifying, notice we do get the vector with an x component of negative three and a y component of positive three. And now let's look at one more example using the online graphing tool. We're asked to sketch vector v plus vector w using the triangle rule. So because we have vector v plus vector w, to use the triangle rule, we sketch vector w, so the initial point is at the terminal point of vector v. Notice vector w has an x component of negative two and a y component of positive one. To sketch vector w, so the initial point is at the terminal point of vector v, we first click on the vector tool, single click on the terminal point of vector v, and then move left two and up one, and double click. Notice we now have vector w, so the initial point is at the terminal point of vector v. If we move the cursor though, another vector starts. We need to eliminate this vector by single clicking off the coordinate plane. And now to find the resultant vector, or the sum of the two vectors, we graph the vector with the initial point at the origin and the terminal point at the terminal point of the vector w forming our triangle. So we double click here on the terminal point and then single click off the coordinate plane. This vector here where the x component is negative one and the y component is negative one is the resultant vector or the vector resulting from the sum of the two vectors using the triangle rule. I hope you found this helpful.